Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, welcome to The Short Answer. And I'm thrilled to be coming to you from a tiny little studio that I have in New York off the coast of Long Island on a beautiful island called Fire Island where I'm looking at the ocean right now and the waves are coming in. So I'm just passing that beauty on to you and the wonderful juice of mother nature. There's really nothing quite like it. Um, as you know, that's what we're all about here is truly identifying as uh, the one, the belonging to all of that. And so I look forward to diving into some topics tonight that are going to allow us to get closer to that connection and to live as that, that true power of the universe that is pouring through us all the time. And to be able to identify as that is essential. So in the, in, inside of the short answer, we're going to talk about uh, giving a flip. <laughs> okay. So that might speak some curiosity to you, but um, it's all about how we look at life and what we're choosing to have, to be, to live within and to share uh, in our lives. Okay, so before we get started, I want to announce a few things that are super fun coming up inside of Mortar Institute that you might be interested in. Um, every year we have an uh, opportunity for people to learn to teach from the Energy Codes book. So the book that I wrote with Simon and Schuster called The Energy Codes um, is available for um, teaching workshops, for people to learn to teach workshops, to be able to hold uh, half day or full day workshops, teaching the work inside the book. And so we have a facilitator program that is a training, a certification program that allows you to learn uh, what all the techniques are in the book, what all the principles and the practices are so that you can come forward with some confidence to have book study clubs or to give workshops uh, in whatever way that you would choose. And what I love about it is I've uh, created a bunch of videos that allow you to start a book study club with a conversation. And it's a short video that I get the conversation started and then you dive in and continue the conversation. So if you love the work inside of Mortar Institute and the energy codes, this is a perfect way for you to deepen your understanding of the work. Our facilitators always say that they have um, they have grown so much just by putting themselves in the position to pay it forward and to share the information with others. And there's never been a more important time in our life, of course, as we know, than now for people to learn how to really land inside of the truth of who they are and have faith and confidence that that is more than enough to carry them through a life of abundance and health and vitality and be able to enhance their uh, relationships and their ability to manifest and all the things that people think they're looking for out there begin in here in a truly deep and wonderful way. So when we release the confines of the personality and drop down into the truth of who we are and really can feel ourselves seated in that seat of the soulful self, everything changes. We begin to live a life that is authentic and integrated and caring and kind and abundant and successful. And all of this can happen in a healthful manner that lands you um, younger and stronger every year, no matter what your age is. And so um, maybe you'll join us inside the facilitator training. It's always a joy for me when we're rolling around to that time of the year again. We have many, many uh, teaching assistants that are going to come in. I'm with you live for the entire weekend and then lots of facilitators to help you practice and train and get ready to become certified. So that's coming up August 4th um, through the 6th. So it's just right around the corner. And there'll be additional checkoff sessions after that that you can schedule for and make sure that you're in attendance for to uh, to get the big um, you know tap on the shoulder of approval to get out there and help us uh, be a tremendous impact in the world. So there is a link below that you can um, plug into and learn more about that. I also want to share with you an awesome thing that's coming up, which is uh, in September. The, the uh, in-person event that we are having in Scottsdale, September 14, 15, 16, and 17, is purely designed to give you experience after experience after experience of this work, of what it means to get underneath the story and the dramas and traumas of life and learn to work with the raw energy itself to allow you to pour yourself into life from a place of 
sheer constant guidance. We want this guidance to be so robust that you are able to make decisions and to pierce into the, the aspects of your world that you've never really had the courage to or, or felt that you had the know-how to do, whether it is in relationship or in your workplace or regarding your health or following your own personal path when in whatever way that is. Ignite is uh, the answer to having one experience after another of circuit building for healing on every level in your lives. So it will be um, geared toward physical healing, mental healing, emotional healing, spiritual integration and embodiment. There are going to be uh, treatment sessions offered inside the program. We'll have certified best practitioners and energy medicine practitioners that are going to be working with people on the breaks and before or after the event each day so that you can slide in if you would choose to um, and, and receive some of those healings. We're also going to do group healings that you're going to experience yourself receiving and giving those, um, those healing sessions. And so I really want to tap into the full potential of humanity and actually help redefine it at this beautiful time that quantum science is giving us so much guidance about how to reframe our, our dependency on our beliefs and our attachments to our story. And so this will be a wonderful experience and an opportunity for you to just immerse yourself in it. So it's not going to be the educational piece of teaching you all the science behind it and all the details. I have other programs, of course, that I offer that in inside of our Live Awake program, for instance, but it is going to be the cream of the crop experiences of those, the outcomes of that understanding. Uh, so it's really basically not just teaching you, but teaching you how, and that's the point. We want to know how to truly tap in to our most full potential and invent ourselves along the way and truly allow a life that we uh, love living through it. I also want to remind you about the gold membership, which is um, a monthly access into tonight's masterclass and all the masterclasses that we have had previously. And uh, as such, you are able to come in, ask your questions and have some time to exchange and to see how your question fits into a bigger picture so that you can just start to develop the confidence and the awareness that you do know, and here's how you know, and here's the step for you to take, and it rolls itself out in front of you in a glorious fashion. Sometimes the ways that life shows us what our next step is don't feel so glorious, and they don't feel so carved with a red carpet or a, a yellow brick road, um, but I will share with you in the masterclass every month that there are ways to flip it into, turn it into something that is perceived as working for you. And the moment you begin to see it from that perspective, the universe has no choice but to collaborate with enhancing and developing that even more so. So um, that is um, available to you. Again, information in the link, uh, you can be able to sign up for the masterclass that is following this one simply by clicking on that and you'll have time to join us before we get started. So, so those are some announcements this evening. Uh, many more exciting things always happening in Mortar Institute, and you're always welcome to come to the website and take a look at what is, what's going on, what's coming up next, and how you might be able to plug in. We have lots of new exciting things coming and a whole new team that's coming on board to help us robustly serve you. So I'm very interested in, um, in getting to share those things with you as the time goes by. So so stay tuned, okay? Now, what I'd like to do is drop into our short answer for this evening. And it is referenced at, this is weird for me. I'm sitting down. I'm always standing up and talking to you. And I'm like sitting down here, just like, hmm, hey, hanging out with you. Um, it's kind of fun. Actually, I might sit down more in the future. Hmm, might be easier. All right, so what I wanna talk about is to uh, give a flip means um, we're gonna talk about quantum science and what I reference as the quantum flip, all right? So whenever you are experiencing something in your life that is hard for you or challenging for you, or you wish it wasn't happening or you wish it hadn't happened or you don't know why someone would do this or say this or be this way or you find yourself kind of plagued with what's going on, you'll find yourself reacting to that most likely. 
When we react to that, we are moving on a scale, on a spectrum of consciousness, if you will, from neutral to what I refer to as the backside of the model. The backside of this model of consciousness, this scale is comprised of being victimized by your circumstances thinking that the things that are happening in your life have control over you, that the people are bigger or they're better or they're smarter or they have more power, which is really what it's all about, than you do. And when you are on this backside of the model or at that end of the scale, we tend to think, I can't really change my circumstances. I just have to live with this. I just have to deal with this. And no matter what I say or no matter what I do, they're going to do this, then it's going to go this way and it's going to end up just like this. And what happens under those reactions, under that disposition, is we are actually creating that as the outcome. We're contributing to the creation of that as an outcome. Here's what happens. On a quantum level, all these tiny little packets of energy that are the smallest ones that we can measure and work with are called photons. And as such, these little packets of energy respond to the vibrational frequency of your thoughts. So when you think a certain way, the little photons start to line up to that and they deliver, they create that reality based upon the vibrational frequency that you are emanating on an ongoing basis. So when we think we're being smart by predicting what's going to happen, we're actually trying to control the situation by predicting it. And so when we start trying to control the situation and we, it becomes evident to us when we start predicting, oh, I'm going to do this, and then they're going to do that, and then I'm going to do this, and then it's going to turn out this way, so I might as well not even try, the little photons start responding to the vibrational frequency of you trying to control a situation. When you're trying to control a situation, you're living in your head. When you are not living in your head, you're living in your whole being, your wisdom, your heart, your deep core kind of eternal love, your creativity, they don't have a chance to really rise up to your awareness and reveal out into your life as an option, as a possibility, as your actual true path. They don't ever get the chance because we keep driving it down with a lower vibrational frequency that is created by your predictive controlling mind. So whenever you're trying to control a situation, in whatever way you might be trying to control the situation, you are driving your vibration lower. When you drive your vibration lower, you move yourself down to the backside of the model of consciousness. It's not the truth of where we're meant to be living and almost everyone gets there, stays there, hangs out there at some point in their lives. Most people start out living there because of childhood and stories and, and history and, and parents and teachers and coaches and everything that has an influence on us has a tendency to contribute to the illusion of disempowerment. Now, in my deeper coursework, I teach you that that's all part of a big plan that you instigated when you came in here in the first place. But at face value, it sure looks like, nah, I've got no, I've got no choice here. And so we grow up literally developing certain circuits in our system that are set to react and respond to the outer world. And it's not okay. It's not what we're supposed to be doing. It won't be fulfilling because the truth of us is further up the scale. We are meant to be on the other end of this spectrum, ultimately, knowing that we are creating and collaborating and generating life's experiences, one after another after another. And so when someone is telling us that you're not all that or trying to control us or suppress in some way, if we see that, we're, that that's what they're doing and we can respond without judging, what happens is we elevate and elevate and elevate and bring ourselves into the observing mind, which allows for this beautiful intuition and inner wisdom and your heart's desire and the truth for you to rise when that happens, you're more capable of seeing that there's a loving possibility in this situation. You're more capable of leading it in a direction that matters to you. You're more capable of saying, now, just a second, it's not quite like that. It could actually also be this. 
But if you're driving your vibration lower and lower and lower to the backside and the backside and the backside further and further of this model of consciousness, you are down here in, in victimville. You're not over here operating as a creator in your life at all. And so what has to happen when we find ourselves here reacting and controlling or trying to or predicting or doing all the things that we do to try to control our experience so that we feel safe, the, what we need in that moment is a quantum flip. So the quantum flip is instantly and automatically, instantaneously remembering that I am more than this. The moment that you see yourself trying to control or trying to predict or trying to manage the situation, you're also going to notice that there is tension in your body. So immediately relax your body, just relax your body. It's like, whoa, I just about went back in for another round of this victimized story. And I'm just going to do the quantum flip here in a moment. I'm going to give it a flip and flip it over and realize that this thing is happening to show me. It is here to show me one thing and one thing only. It's here to show me that I am bigger than I thought I was. I am bigger. I've been arguing for my smallness. Every time I get in the argument and start trying to participate and fight back or, or you know, make my point right in there, right in there in the dogfight, if in that moment I can relax inside my body and realize that everything that is happening in my life is happening for a reason, and the reason is good, and that reason is it's trying to show me that I am bigger, I am more capable, I am more magnificent, I am more creative, I can be more grounded and integrated and filled with love in any moment than I've ever really thought I could be. I keep thinking I'm less than, and so I need to defend. I keep thinking that I don't have enough of this, that, or the other. And so I get into the consciousness of trying and grappling and striving instead of celebrating what I have. So the moment that we flip it into realizing, wait a second, I am made of creative energy. And there are no exceptions to that. Every single one of us is made of creative energy. And we can take a big belly breath on that one. And when we do, and we relax inside, we automatically start raising our vibrational frequency. And when we raise our vibrational frequency, we start attracting different kinds of thoughts, different kinds of perceptions and perspectives come into our focus. And all of a sudden we realize that we are so much more free and that we don't have to put ourselves in circumstances that don't celebrate that freedom, that we can create our own circumstances that do celebrate that freedom and allow that freedom to express and to be explored by every decision that we make in our lives. So whether it's in relationship and someone gets triggered and they're trying to you know, tell you that you need to change so that they can be okay, or it is inside of a health condition that you feel that you were born with the genetic tendency in this direction, and this is what you're just going to have to contend with, or whether it is that you have kind of convinced yourself that, you know, I'm just not the one that can manifest. I'm just not the abundant type. I just have to always scrap and scrape to put things together and to make do and to make ends meet. When you're thinking in any of those ways, you are down here on the back side of the model. And what is happening is your vibration is lowering and lowering and lowering. And the lower the vibration, the more you will attract thought patterns and ways of perceiving and interacting that are in kind. And so the quantum flip is required in that moment. And it simply is, you know, drop in lots of things that we can do in that, in that direction. But for now, today, in this short answer, I'm going to invite you to just drop open, drop into your own system, your own central system inside your heart of hearts, inside your deep core belly and drop your energy right into the earth and relax your body. And then you start thinking in these terms, what would it feel like if I was a creator of my life and I knew it? What would the vibrational frequency in my body be like if that were happening? What would happen in the muscles and in my breath and in my heart rate? What would happen if I knew that I was more than I thought I was just a moment ago? It finally landed as an aha and a revelation. What would happen inside of my physiology in that moment? I can tell you that a form of love would start to rise in you. That is your true nature. 
because in all of the, the vibrational frequencies that exist and all that quantum science is teaching us, the very first vibration that is created when we begin compressing ourselves toward physical form is love. It's love. It's unconditional, divine grandmother kind of love. Now, maybe you didn't have a loving grandmother, but I did. And so I equate it with that. It's this like, look, don't you mess with me because I've been there and I've done that. And, you know, just sit yourself down right here and behave and do the right thing. And when the grandmother speaks that way, you know, it's coming from love. You know that it's coming from guidance and wanting the best for you. So what if that guidance was here for you? Because it is. What if it was constantly available? It is, and it's available on the inside much more abundantly and profoundly than it is to be found in the outer world. The more we seek out there, the more we disperse, the more we come down to the backside of the model, the more we need the quantum flip. So when we flip it over, when we give it a flip, this whole thing in life, we start to realize that when someone is saying something that that appears to be unkind, it's reflecting where they are seated And when they are seated in the backside of the model, offering up something that is unkind to you, recognize that you are at a choice point. Do I drop down to the backside of the model? Do I flip myself to the front side of the model and recognize and realize that from here, I can have compassion. From here, from the front side of the model, I can see that this is how I'm going to respond to this in a proactive manner instead. Instead of reacting, I'm going to become creative. I'm going to draw some attention to what might be happening there and be able to speak into it as if to say, you know, maybe there's a more loving way that we could approach this conversation, or maybe there's a more kind way that we could approach this conversation. And what ends up happening is you come to know a deeper version of who you are that you love. And the more you love it, the more uh, robust it becomes. And the more you raise your vibration, the more this self-love is evident inside of your system. And a byproduct of that is you start recognizing that the path is revealing itself, that maybe I go in this way and maybe I go in this way, uh, simply because of the vibrational frequency that is becoming obvious to me based upon the choices that I'm making from the inside out. And so as we allow this quantum flip to show us that the things that we thought that were against us are actually for us. They're actually trying to show us that we have what it takes, that we are completely guided and supported all the time. If you can look back over your past and recognize that there have been some things that have occurred along the way that at the time you thought were horrific, horrible, no one should do that. It should never happen that way. But now when you look back on them, you see that actually because of that, I learned some really cool stuff about myself. I actually realized that I do have what it takes, or it was the best thing that ever happened that that person left me or that job let me go or whatever it was that was difficult for you at the time. So if you can sit here now and look back into the past and put those pieces together, I want you to understand that the quantum flip is an invitation for you to do that in real time right now without having to wait for the three or four or five years to pass before you can turn around and look back at it with such a positive outlook. Those possibilities are here for you right now to flip it, to know that, you know what, in five years, I'm going to be glad that this is happening. So I'm going to go ahead and be happy for it right now. And a byproduct of doing that is you start to experience yourself uh, creatively. You start to put the pieces together. You're like spinning it and turning it until you can turn it in a manner that you can see that it's actually in support of you right now in real time. That is the quantum flip, my friends. It's about no longer being victimized by your circumstances, but recognizing, oh, this is happening for me. And actually, I kind of was wanting that to happen. I kind of was calling that in as an experience. You bet you were, because that's the only thing your highest self is ever doing. It's calling in what's right next and now for you. And so it might mean releasing some old attachments and letting go of some things that are no longer serving you, but that's all going to become evident when you just simply start celebrating the front side of the model version of who you are, but you have to give it a flip. Okay, so the quantum flip is here for you anytime, all the time. And we certainly love to go deeper in these conversations. In fact, we will be going deeper in these conversations shortly in the masterclass in just a few moments at the bottom of the hour. So I'm going to give you time to click in and join us for that. 
And I'll be right back here in just a few moments for the masterclass. So much love to you all. Hope you enjoy the short answer this month. I'll see you again here next month. Bye-bye for now. Namaste and blessings all.